Okay, finally, we have gotten to the last new part of our section called volume. Now, this kind of volume that we're going to be dealing with today is very different to the type of volume that you worked with a little while ago with volume and capacity. So at that point, that volume that we were talking about then referred to how much liquid was in a container. The volume that we're going to be talking about today is very similar, um, but it's a tad bit different. So let's take a look. Volume is the total amount of space in a 3D object. So when we were talking about liquids, we were saying how much liquid is in a container and that is called volume. So now when we're talking about 3D shapes, the total amount of space inside a 3D object, that is volume. And we're going to be working with calculations. So let's get practicing. So you remember the formula of perimeter is P equals S plus S plus S plus S. The number of S's obviously depends on how many sides you have in your shape. The area formula was A equals L times B, so that means length times breadth. The volume formula that we're going to have a look at today is a little bit longer. So to work out volume, we use the following formula, V equals L times B times H. So it's the same as the area formula, we've now just added on one more dimension, height. So we're going to be timesing three numbers together now. This means the volume equals the length of one side multiplied by the breadth of another side. Once you've gotten that answer, you then multiply that answer by the height of the last side. So the length obviously is the usually is the longer side, the breadth is usually the shorter side, and the height is the vertical measurement, so how high it stands off the ground. Remember to write units cubed at the end of your answer. So that little three over there, we call it cubed. And when we're talking about area, you would write the units squared, which is a little two. So because you are now timesing three numbers together, you have to put a little three after your centimeters or meters or whatever unit of measurement you're working with. Okay, we're going to practice calculating volume. The volume of an object is the total amount of space inside a 3D object. That's just a little reminder for you for what volume is. The volume of this rectangle would be the total amount of space inside the rectangular prism. So let's work it out. We need to use the volume formula. Can you remember it? It's V equals L times B times H. So your length would be two centimeters times two centimeters times five centimeters. So remember, the height is how high it is off the ground, so you can see the five centimeters is the height. Obviously, it doesn't matter which um, sides you pick to be the length and the breadth because they are the same size. So now, when you are calculating three numbers times each other, you have to do it slowly and step by step. So we're going to first times the length and the breadth together. So we've got 2 times 2, which is 4. So you're going to write that down and then carry on with the rest of your calculation. So you've got 4 times 5. 4 times 5 is 20, which is your final answer, but you need to remember to write down your units of measurement. We were measuring in centimeters, and because we are dealing with volume, we have to write a little cube on the end. So your final answer is 20 centimeters cubed. 